In this video, I'm going to show you how you can format your book as a 6x9 paperback by using Google Docs. Let's dive into it. Many people prefer Google Docs over Microsoft Word. Google Docs is easier to share, it's simple to use, you can use it in your browser. There are many advantages for Google Docs, but if it comes to printing options, defining margins, defining page sizes, Microsoft Word is still the technical winner. But in this video, I'm going to show you how you can circumstance some of these issues by adding extension to your Google Docs. And at the last point, I will show you another tool to do the last finishing touches on your formatted book. So let me explain what the issue is. Google Docs doesn't have a custom paper size by default. So if you go to file and go to page setup, you see here the default paper size, which is letter. And you can choose other ones from a select list. And this one, the statement, the 5.5 by 8.5 is the most attractive one for us because self-publishers are choosing either 5 by 8 or 6 by 9 as the format. And this format is... So luckily I found an extension so you can add the option custom page size yourself. So you want to go to extensions, click on add-ons and then get add-ons. And you can search app, page sizer. Then you click on this one, page sizer, and then you click on install. Then you click on continue, page sizer needs your person, all those status done. Okay, continue. Then a pop-up appears where you select your username, your default name, and then you click on allow. Now the new app, page sizer, is installed in your Google Maps. And now we're going to add the page number. So I click on insert. I go to page numbers, more options because I want to have full control. Now click, I want it on the footer. I want to not show it on the first page. I want to start the numbering at one, then I click at apply. When I scroll down, I see the first page is empty as wished, and we should see here number two. But now number two and all the other page numbers are on the right of this screen, which is a little bit in the paperback version would not be great. I open the footer and I want to move this to the middle. So I go to format, align and indent, and I click on center. Now the page numbers in all the book are aligned in the middle. I'm going to update the table of contents. I do this by scrolling down to the table of contents to make sure I will remove this table of contents first. Now I go to insert, table of contents all down under, and I want this one, the dotted one with the page numbers at the end. So I click on it, and now you see that's generated all new page table of contents. So before we're going to adopt the page size, your custom page size, we want to double check if the margins are correct. So we go to file, page setup, and here you see the margins. You can put them one or four, for example, or 0.9 or 0.8, whatever it is. But it's important that you do this before you, we're going to change the page size in the extension. Now we're going to use the extension, which we just installed, which is called Page Sizer. And we're going to set the page size before we're going to export the document as a PDF. For width, we choose six inches. Here we choose inches and for the height, nine inches. Also possible to check millimeters and points, but we'll do inches for this demo. And we click on apply. Are we ready to export the document? In Microsoft Word, you have the option to update the gutter. Unfortunately, in Google Docs, we don't have this option. I will show you on the screen what the gutter is. You see uh, the gutter is the middle of the book you see on the screen. In this picture, you see the gutter is the yellow part of the picture. A book gutter is a blank space down the center of an open book where the pages are bound together. The gutter of a book is the blank space where the left and right pages meet. Book publishers make sure there's no text there because it would be difficult to read. So we are done in Google Docs. The only thing you have to do is to file, download and export as a PDF the book. And the last step we're going to do in another tool in Acrobat Reader. But I'm not really happy with this solution, to be honest, because we have to update Acrobat Reader and use the seven day free trial. And after the seven days, we have to pay. And you have to pay a lot. You have to pay more than the whole Microsoft 365 suite, which includes Microsoft Word, Office, Outlook, Excel, and all that good stuff. So for me, it's this solution just to use Google Docs in combination with the paid version of Acrobat Reader isn't worth it. But for now, for, for sake of this 
demo. We're going to use, we're going to upgrade to the seven day free trial. I'm going to show you how you can add the margin to this book. And at the end of this video, I will show you three options. And one is totally free, which I recommend to do instead. So what we're going to do, page one of our book is starts on the right. And page one is the old page. So what we're going to do, we're going to do the old pages. We are moving to the right. The text on the old page is a little bit, so we can read it easier. And the even pages, we move a little bit to the left. So in Acrobat Reader, we can add the gutter. First, we click on Organize Pages. Then we click on Set Page Boxes. And now here, we see the changed page, page size. But we just repeat the size it already has, six by nine inches. And now we do an offset. We will start with all the odd pages. And we do an offset of 0.14 inches. I have to use comma because on network system. And then we click on OK. And then we will see all the odd pages move to the right a little bit. And then I click again. I click on set page boxes, I custom. And now we're going to do all the even pages, all here. So we're going to repeat the current width, six by nine. And instead of using 0.14, I'm using minus 0.14. And I click on OK. And now all the pages have moved a little bit on the screen and in the PDF document. And you can upload this document after checking it on Amazon KDP. So this solution is not ideal because you have to pay for Acrobat Reader. But I have three alternative options. First, you can check out the done for you service from my friend Ed and use the code Juan to get a really big discount. And the second option is which I always use. I use Microsoft Office 365 where you can uh, just add the gutter in Microsoft Word. It's pretty simple. And there is a third option and it's totally free. Something you guys are going to like and that's called LibreOffice. So LibreOffice is an open source Office tool with all the Office tools like, you know, Word, Excel, uh, Google Sheets, Google Docs, same, similar. It's a free app which you can download on both Windows and Mac. It's 100% free and I will make videos and you can find them here if they're available already when I've done them about how you can format your book as a 6x9 and 5x8 paperback with LibreOffice as well. See you next video, guys. Bye-bye.